Hello. In this series of videos I will be creating a MNK game. I can show it from here. It's here. So it's like a tic-tac-toe game but um, we can have any any number of rows and any number of columns and the winning length can also be um, set. It's this K here. Maybe it's best if I just run this project. This, this is the project I've already coded this pro project and it's here so if I run this project uh, this is how the end end result will look like. So we have a two games here so let's play, play this one for example. So the winning row here here is three. I set it three obviously I can I can change it to four or whatever number uh, I, w I want but uh, in this game it's three. So it goes like this. So and then and now and there's the winner. Winner and there's another game here. Obviously. Playing another game here. And then you can and use the history and then you can start a new game here with a different different size of a board. And here we go. Here we go again, and there is the winner again. So this is how it looks like, and so this is the target what we are going to do here. And um, so let's start this project project now. And the first thing I want to say that this is this coding is not really for a total beginner because um, I'm not going to explain all the details going going into the very details. But on the other hand, this is you, the listener doesn't need to be an expert neither, because I will be explaining quite a lot, quite a lot, um, even simple things I will be explaining. And uh, the other thing is that I try to I try to make this as professional as possible. So I'm using the latest features, C++ features, as much as possible, and I try to separate different parts like rendering code from the engine and so on. I try to separate and, and, and one important factor <coughs> excuse me, one important factor was also that I want this to be portable. So meaning that um, this is an MFC project, this one. This is an MFC project here right now, like it says here somewhere. It doesn't say but it is. It is an MF MFC project uh, but for example let's say that we, we want to create a want to create a uh, Windows C C program, not C++ but C C program, uh, the Windows API API. So different system. So so the idea here is that we can easily easily um, port this code to another system, or if we have a Linux, or if we want to create a console program instead of Windows program. This is a Windows program here. But let's say that we want to create a console program, which I actually already did this here. I can show this one as well, uh, if it compiles. Uh, yeah, and we will be looking at this console project after the Windows. We will first do the Windows project and then we will do this one. I've already done this one, as we can see. So I can play here, 2, 3, and 5, 2, and so on. I will not play this one now, but as we can see, it's easy to port this this code to this console application as well. That's what I, that was that was my aim. That I'm not only doing a simple tic-tac-toe game. We already have loads of them on the internet and on uh, or even on YouTube. So I tried to make this a little bit differently and um, in a little bit more complex way so that the uh, meaning that it will be more like a professional style hopefully I can do that, uh, I can't uh, praise myself but uh, let's see uh, how well I was able to do this but that was my target anyway so let's see how this goes okay the first thing to do here would be um, to follow exactly what I'm doing here would be to install the Microsoft Visual Studio community and it can be downloaded here from here and it's a very very good uh, IDE 
I think it's one of the best and I just started using myself so just from here download community free and it's free software I already have it on my computer so I don't need to do that and uh, then, uh, another thing here is that here I've, I've done this code already and it's here this is my github so you can download all the source codes from here and I will be updating this uh, if I make any changes so you can go here and download the whole project from here I will also put this to the on a description field this these links and from here especially we we need now we need this one this this file here which is memdc because that will cause that we don't have any flickering when we are drawing which I will show uh, soon what that means okay so let's start this project and I will I will show step by step how how we can how we can uh, create this project and uh, then uh, then on next video I start explaining the code but let's first set up this project so we will launch Microsoft Visual Studio community first and then we will go here and say new project and we are looking for MFC project so clicking here and let's put here M N K game I think that's what it is let me follow exactly what I did here yes that's what I put and then just okay Ouch, I already have this game game aha uh -huh. I've already practiced I guess here so I will I will create another subfolder here just to be able to show this select this folder and how about now okay here we go just next we're gonna do a single document here and we in, in this situation I'm not really using the document view ar architect so we don't do that one this time uh, let's choose for example Windows 7 style and just next next and um, again next one more time next and it's fine so and here we go so here is the project and um, next thing we want to do is that we want to <coughs> copy all those files which I I have created from here some not all of these files because some of them are the project files but I will show exactly which files we need from here and they are here they are I already picked them up so we need all of these files render memdc engine definitions and so on so all of these files we will copy and now I will find uh, where is this folder open containing folder and there we are and just paste them from here to here and next thing we need to we need to include them into the project so add existing item and I hope I can quickly do this board board definitions engine engine MDC FC handler render render uh, I think there's MFC handler hates is missing missing but let's anyway let's uh, add uh, these first so and I will find out where is my handler MFC handler I guess I forgot it MFC handler it's here I don't know why it was not there but uh, I can just put it now here 
like that and then we will add that H file this one so now um, now um, I guess we have all of them now uh, and the next thing next thing to do here I would say would be because we have this include stdafx but these files what I've done this library file this these game files they don't we don't use them uh, I mean I I didn't use them so let's now um, exclude all of them from the project so exclude from project yes all configuration here all configurations here and okay engine next and render last okay let me try to compile now this and let's choose 64 bit 64 bit uh, application and I will compile control shift B oh, there are some errors oh, so this is render is not excluded okay, okay. it's possible I did something wrong here let me 